All right, guys, we're back with another unboxing. We've got three games to unbox today. The first one is Starcade, which is a I bought for a single player experience. Um, this is a game that got lots of mixed reviews, so uh, we're going to check it out and see what it looks like here. I can say the that looking at this uh, box, the box is not really the sturdiest material I've ever seen, so. But we'll open it up and see what we got here. Okay, so in this one we got six dice, different colors here. So look pretty good quality. I like kind of the confetti look on the dice. Those look pretty cool. Those don't look too bad. We got some game pieces here. Kind of your standard, a little bit thin quality. Not, not the heaviest duty, but not bad. And then looks like we got some cards with kind of that 8-bit look. I love the retro 8-bit look. So nothing great, but nothing, you know, it kind of looks kind of standard fare for this. I really like the dice. The dice are probably the best part of this. Um, kind of like the look of that purple dice. Purple and blue is my favorite color combination. So might take that die out of here and do that. Keep that for a regular D6 where we're playing. So that's Starcade. The next one we have here is a cool card game I got for Alex. Um, Bigfoot versus Yeti Battle of the Cryptids. Was looked like it got pretty good reviews. I love anything that has all these cool monsters on it. The, the cryptozoological monsters. Um, really like the look of the artwork. I'm hoping this is as good a quality as it looks like. Nice heavy box. Real... Real good heavy box. Really like that artwork. Nice kind of, not super detailed. It's just kind of got the, got the little shadowing on there. So we got some cool looking, nice rule book. Doesn't look too bad. That's kind of cool. Kind of the ancient Egyptian look. Then we got a couple of packs of cards here. And I have an ineptitude for opening up packs of cards. Anybody that knows me, these tabs never seem to want to work. So let's see if I can manage to get these open. <laughs> All right, so here we got the cards. Decent card quality. They are a slick finish, not a linen finish. Or, well, it is a light linen finish on here. I like linen finish. It helps you hold on to the cards, and the cards don't get slick. So we got some aliens. Fish falls. The alien autopsy film. Gotta love that. Blurry photos. Always kind of par for the course with cryptids. Devil skull. Flipper photos. Missing Pets. Oh, the Patterson film. Yes, gotta love the Patterson film. Sound recordings. Yeti Scalp and Hand. The Ahul. Bigfoot. The Chupacabra. Gotta love that. This is, I really like this artwork. This artwork is looks really kind of cool on these. It just proves that you don't have to have that super... As I knock stuff over here. You don't have to have that super, super detail to give really nice artwork. If you look at this, it's got a really good look without having tons of detail. So. And then we'll go on to this other pack of cards here. Again, let's see if I can get these open. Sometimes I get lucky. And I can get them open quickly. Other times it takes me a couple of tries here these are really loosely packed a little looser pack it's the tight ones the ones that are like shrunk formed on there so what do we got here we got extraterrestrials we got giant squid the jersey devil gotta love the jersey devil the loch ness monster the mothman that's really cool i like that mothman artwork the sewer alligators. Got to watch out for those sewer gators. And then the expedition cards. Looks like it's got some 
couple of players aids here. So all in all, this looks really good. I like the artwork on this. Really interested in playing this game. Um, this is kind of right up my alley for the kind of things that I like. Love Yeti, love Bigfoot. So we'll go on to the next thing now, which this kind of seems in retrospect, kind of looking at it, it looks like a a ripoff of Tomb Raider, pretty close anyway. Um, it's called Terra Wolf in the Valley of the Kings. Um, I really kind of trying to get into a couple of more uh, two player games. Some of the big games get a little too heavy for uh, Alex. She's only 10. So we, you know, trying to look for some games that are not only that, but that my wife and I can play. Because some of the four player games just, they're, they don't play well at two players. So, okay, first of all, this is a really cool surround cover. I really like that. This is attached. So this comes over. So it's almost like a dossier. This uh, artwork. So far, at least from what I'm seeing from the artwork here, I really like the artwork. Yeah, well, that's pretty cool. Got a really, looks like a pretty decent rule book. And then we've got, oh, I love them when they put them in these. I love them when they put the cards in here where we can get them out quickly. So we've got Trick of Cleopatra, Serpent's Pit, The Spectral Panther, Cleopatra's Servants, Stock and Flail, and Ujat's Eye. And then we've got some piece game pieces here. These are good heavy game pieces. Look good. You know, Onk, Eye. Not a whole lot there. Okay, so these look like they're character cards. So we got Tara Wolf, we got Montana Smith, we got Susan Copperstone, Heinrich von Karloff. And then looks like these are players can't enter this tomb with more than two characters. So it looks like there's some sort of power cards. So those look nice. Nice oversized cards. I'm, I'm always one for having oversized player cards. Um, I really love oversized player cards. Like in uh, uh, Horrified, I love the big, thick cardboard ones they have in Horrified. These are just a regular, regular finished card, but not bad. Now we got the playing cards, the playing deck. Let's see what we got here. Egypt is another one of those themes that will always get me to buy a game. So we got this is pretty decent artwork on here. I mean, if you take a look at this closely, that artwork is actually pretty nice. You know, this is, you know, very clearly marked. The iconography is really good on these cards. Um, some iconography can get really, really difficult. Um, it's one of my, kind of my pet peeves. If you try to put too many things on a card, it's just hard to use. So this is good iconography. Ooh, I like that mummy. That's cool. Oh, and then we got an undead zombie. I'm not sure what zombies have to do with ancient Egypt, but the avatar of Anubis. All right. So that's a good, it's got good artwork on the back. Like it when they use colors that really differentiate one card from another. You got bright blue and you got bright yellow. That is a good way to differentiate cards from one another. Hate it when you, you're trying to figure out two tones of gray or three tones of brown for, for uh, cards when you're trying to separate things in some of those big games. Put a big icon on the back or make them a different color. All right, last but not least, we got some more cards here. These look like they're mostly, yeah, mostly character cards. The Maniac. He's kind of cool looking. Nice. Sultan's Guard, The Reporter, and it looks like they, some of these are allies. This looks like this is the ally deck. 
then you have some animals. The jackal, that's actually pretty cool looking. Very Anubis looking like. All right, guys. So that is the unboxing for Terra Wolf in the Valley of the Kings. Really interested to play this game. Hopefully we'll have a run through or a review for you soon. I just like that. That's great. So we hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. We'll probably be back with some more soon. Um, don't forget to uh, like and share and uh, hit that subscribe button.